Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, I'd like to welcome you to DJ's Aviation. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the Airbus A350-2000. Right now, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, he just made that up. Well, while the aircraft was never in fact released to the public, Airbus did have plans for the new variant of the A350 series. During the Farnborough Air Show in 2016, the plane manufacturer noted that it had planned to make a decision before the year closed in regards to whether or not they would launch the A350-2000. The Dash 2000, as Airbus noted, would be a simple stretch of the A350-1000. The Airbus sales chief, John Leahy, said, We are going back and forth on it, and the jury is still out there on whether the market wants it. So what was the A350-2000? Other than being another Airbus aircraft, as I briefly mentioned, it was set to be a stretch of the A350-1000, of course, which is currently flying with Qatar and in the future, the likes of Cathay Pacific. The whole purpose of the A350-2000 was to make it the same length as the 777-9. While there's not a huge difference, the A350-1000 in a typical configuration actually seats around 30 less passengers than the 777-9. And this is what sparked the interest of the A350-2000 from Airbus officials. Simply, the A350-2000, though, would rival the 777-9 and give airlines who did not want to order from Boeing an almost identical alternative. The Dash 2000 plans were already in the works years before news officially came out in 2016. And while we still haven't seen it, back in January of this year, Airbus did note that a stretch would only be possible after a further evolution of engine technology. If the engine technology further developed, Airbus would likely reconsider the possibility of introducing an A350-2000 to the industry. Despite it sounding like quite a cool aircraft, the issue has always been the demand for a larger version. While the A350s are still selling well in Airbus's eyes, they did admit at the 2017 Paris Air Show that the A350-2000 program would be removing the development of concepts again because there isn't a need for an aircraft like this and also there isn't that immediate appeal within the market. The Airbus commercial aircraft president did note back in 2017 the similarities between the 787 program to the A350 program. The 787 began with two variants, the 787-8 and the 787-9, and years after, the 787-10, the third edition, was introduced. Airbus's thinking was that it'd eventually do the same with their A350-2000. In fact, he said directly, there is extra potential that was extracted by Boeing on the 787, and which is still present for us to capture in the next four or five years. Adding, then we will see, and probably, when there is a new generation of engines, we will be able to question whether we can stretch again the A350. While launching an A350-2000 could have its positives, Airbus outlined that launching it would actually impact their A350-1000 severely, and that they may be better off for the time being to focus in on their current two variants and enhance them in different ways to meet different customer demands. Some examples of this include the A350-900 ULR, the potential A350-1000 ULR, which was just talked about in recent weeks, and the A350 Regional. However, if the manufacturer did decide to release the Dash 2000 while having a higher capacity than any other A350 variant, its range would be less than the A350-1000, which could deal a blow to potential customers. To conclude, the A350-2000 would be a direct alternative to the 7 and would be the third aircraft in the A350 series. While at this stage there's no plan for release for this particular aircraft, it still hasn't been completely ruled out. With alternatives like the A350-1000 ULR also coming out in the news, it may be that we get the Dash 2000 just under a different name. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I'd like to ask you, would you be interested in seeing an A350-2000? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. I hope you'll all join me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams and flight And we'll fly